is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we're back with a two in one wwe elite figure review on two figures that we've already seen before psych yeah i mean kind, kind of technically we have seen these before introducing the wwe elite greatest hits wave that mattel has finally introduced to us there was a lot of steam on the internet there was a lot of news about this wave, but it's finally in our hands and i'm excited to review these kind of a throwback review when will we reach the day where we get a greatest hits figure that i originally reviewed when it first released i don't know that'll be be a crazy day when that happens but today we have the re-release of the elite series 8 undertaker and the elite series 24 Rey mysterio i honestly feel like Rey mysterio is a lot closer to the original product we're going to compare them but this wave has a lot of mixed reviews some people love it some people hate it i think if you are an original collector maybe you have these figures originally you got them when they first released probably don't like that they're getting re-released but at least they do have the updated technology with the true effects for most of the time they have the double jointed arms they have added bonuses with interchangeable hands i think this line has a lot of potential, but I also do see the collector side of it, and I think that it's kind of a wishy-washy deal. I could see it being epic, and I can see it being epic, but you know what, baby? It's part of life. We gotta roll with the punches. Really excited. We are gonna compare them to their original counterpart, and we are gonna take a look, man, but up first, we do have Elite 8 Undertaker and Elite 24 Ray. I actually found the Elite 24 Ray in a thrift shop. It was the first time I ever saw it. I just went in there, and they had it randomly in a baggie, and I gotta be honest with you that I've never found another wrestling figure on a trip to that thrift store. Once in like six years, they had a wrestling figure, and it was the Elite 24 Ray. I'll never forget it. And then for Elite 8 Undertaker, I think I got him as a part of a big old lot on eBay one time. And since then, I think I've had like two or three of the Elite 8 Undertaker at some occasion. Never had it mocked, but I have had it loose a few times. Buying random lots of Elites on eBay. So there you go. Kind of like the story there for every figure. There's the front viewing window. Of course, you got the Days of the Dead gear, and then just the, the dead gear. You get it. On the side, you get an image of both talents here. On the back, you get images of the talents there. You got the Undertaker's bio read there. You got Rey Mysterio's bio read there. You got the rest of the figures in the wave. How do you feel about this first Legends wave? Or I guess not Legends. I guess it's technically Legends, but it's, it's you know, the greatest hits here. I think the Rock's the only one that I just don't think needed it, to be honest with you, but who am I to judge? Names on the side, as always. And we have our brand new 2022 packaging. So let's crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if they are better or worse than their counterpart. I'm going to be honest with you. They're going to be better, right? More more articulation they are they probably automatically win so here's Undertaker and Rey Mysterio's re-releases on the spinning base as we take a look at them right here, man. Already have issues with them. Hate to say it, already have issues with them. I mean, are they like complete deal breakers? I guess not. We'll get into those things, of course. But can't wait to dive into it, man. If you guys didn't even know these existed or haven't seen their previous versions before, again, we are going to take a look at them in this video, so I'm excited to do so. But if you want to grab this wave, I don't know if this wave is coming to retail. And they also told us that we're going to be getting one greatest hits wave per year. One wave per year, I think, was what they decided on. Can't wait to see that, of course, to see which future releases come out and stuff like that. However, what we're going to do is run through Rey Mysterio and Rey Mysterio's accessories, and then we will also take a closer look at Undertaker's accessories and The Undertaker. So let's go ahead and get to that and shut the hell up. So getting into Rey Mysterio's accessories, you don't get a whole bunch. You do get the signature Rey Mysterio Ryback cutoff tee with the same graphic, I'm pretty sure, that his Elite 24 came with. You have, like, the classic Rey Mysterio shirt there. On the back, it says the mask is back, and you got some, like, trickulation down there. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but... Also, the exposure is really high, so I do apologize for that. Because of all the dark colors, like the black on the shirt and the gloves and everything like that, so I do apologize for that. But there is the shirt. You know, you just throw it over there. They used to give these to every Rey Mysterio. They still do it. They still do it to this day. They include one of these with Rey Mysterio. Outside of that, you do have your fisted glove hands that are smaller, and they do have the skeleton hands on there, which are really nice. I like that they have the added paint detail. And then you do have the reaching out hands. I call it the Friday Night Smackdown reaching out intro hands from the Friday Night Smackdown intro, if you guys remember that. So you do have the skeleton skeleton hands right there in the reaching out grab hand and I, I use these on AJ Styles I think it works better for AJ Styles too because it's a glove mold and it actually has some sculpt to it and it looks better but there's skeleton hands you don't get it on the thumb but I don't know if that's accurate or not probably isn't but uh, at the same time these are pretty cool I like them and at least we get some interchangeable hands with some new paint on there instead of just plain black all right guys so getting into Rey Mysterio starting off the top of the head it looks to be the exact same head sculpt the only thing I'm really noticing is like the paint on the edges right here of the the paint just seems to be a bit thicker right here on the edge of the 
chin where the mask comes down. That's the only thing I'm seeing. But I always love this gear, the Day of the Dead gear. I like love the way that the I love the way all the logos look. I think it's very clean deco. You got the spider webs up there or the webbing you do at the back of the head. I really wish they'd add some paint detail here. I think it'd add a lot to it, to be honest. And maybe I don't know if this was white back here, but I think it'd look better if it was black, like if the straps were black. But you do have the cloth singlet or the not cloth, but you know, the t-shirt material with the stretchiness and the the you know the different material and the sculpts of the folds and the wrinkles in there. Got the orange down the sides. You do have all the webbing material going down. On the arms, they are double jointed. They are covered up by elbow pads, but he's got some of his tattoos, not all of them that he has today, but he does have quite a bit of tattoos. You do have your wrist gauntlets on there with the black gloves that we talked about. Same crotch mold, baggy pants. You got the ray down the sides with the same designs. Kind of, you know, Halloween, Days of the Dead inspired. Then on the other side, you have 619. It looks to be the exact same paint colors, I'm pretty sure. Like, it may be a little bit darker or more saturated, but it seems to be the same color. We'll look at that in just a moment, but you have the wrinkles coming down. You do have the white cuffs, and you have the black ray boots. Very nice figure. A lot of people will tell you this is their favorite ray figure they've ever done, and I don't know if it's my favorite ray they've ever done. I think that's going to be the new Top Picks Macho Man gear that they have coming out, but it's still damn good. And for your Rey Mysterio figure comparisons, let's scoot this back just a little bit. I do want to showcase, and now I, I on action figure surgery, I interchange these for black sleeved arms, but just, to, I mean, I guess it gives you like a, a it kind of lets you know exactly the differences between the two. Now these were not like this always. I just threw those on there to get like a cool fix up made, but you guys can kind of see the, like the white on this one is a little bit more dull or like over time. You guys can see like the yellowing in it and this one's like fresh white. That's kind of insane, but you guys can just kind of see it's, it is slightly different. If you look at the teeth and then you look at the nose, you look at the eyes, like it is a little bit different. The oranges are a little bit different as well. Here's a shot of the torso. Same kind of like yellowing going on over here, but they are very, very similar. The graphics are a bit different right here. It seems like the dots are different on the back. It looks like the back logos are, this one seems a little bit more elongated maybe. And then down here, it's not as tight as it is over here. Okay, so they did shrink the graphic or they made it bigger actually. So the, the graphic is smaller on the older one. You guys can see it goes onto the butt cheeks and then you got the ray on the side. Yeah, the orange looks better over here in my opinion. I think it's more of a darker Halloween orange and this is more of like a brighter orange, but I, I like it, man. They did, they made the size of the graphics bigger and it looks like they maybe. I'm sure that's more accurate to be honest with you, but I, I don't know. You guys can, you, you're getting all those different differences right there. So that's pretty cool. It's not the exact same, but it's definitely the same figure, just uh, recreated just a bit differently. I just think that maybe some different sculpts and stuff would be cool, but the, the, the deco differences are pretty cool, and the double jointed arms and interchangeability is definitely awesome, but that is cool, man. That, that uh, That's so wicked to just see a, like, 10-year hop in the figures. I don't remember when the Elite 24 exactly released, but it's it's nearing 10 years, I'm pretty sure. Now, getting into Undertaker's accessories, I just want to run through his hands real quick, and then we will run through the jacket and compare it to the Elite 8, but here are the hands. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. You do have the mic holding hands with the gloves on there. Nice sculpt to them. And it does have a black peg. These look accurate to me. I would have liked to see fisted hands, but at the same time, these get the job done. You do have the skin tone on there. They look clean, all that. And then outside of mic holding hands, you do get the same gloved hands, except they are choke slamming hands. So you have the choke slam and the mic holding. Really wish they'd change it up or give us like the, the throat cut hand or something just to change it up just a bit, I guess. But at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Choke slam hands and mic holding hands. But as far as the other accessory, you do get his long entrance vest trench coat duster deal, which I'm pretty sure is the exact same to his Elite 8, if I'm not mistaken. I do have the Elite 8 over here. It looks a bit dusty, so I probably need to dust him off a little bit, but it looks like they removed some paint detail, is at least what it looks like. There's some like paint detail on the front right here that they didn't include. You guys also notice this is not the head sculpt because uh, the Elite 8, this is the Elite 8 figure from head to toe. It's just that this new re-release is actually the Elite 1 head, I'm pretty sure, instead, but it looks to be the exact same jacket. I don't see any differences. You guys can see the stitchings on the side there and everything like that. Yeah, I'm not I'm not noticing anything except for the paint detail on the front and it looks like a straight up re-release copy except no paint detail whatsoever. So I do apologize for that, but that is what they've decided to do to us. So you guys saw it on the figure. Not my favorite, but at least you can move the arms just a little bit, but I'd rather have this in cloth form or just don't include it at all and give us some other accessories or an interchangeable head rather than the plastic coat here. But uh, he's not at least, he, at least he's not completely stuck in that pose jacket. You know what I mean? All right guys, so getting into Undertaker starting out the top of the head sculpt. This is not the original Elite 8 head. This is actually the Elite 1 head, if I'm not mistaken. Looks just like it. You know, I could be wrong about that, but I think it is the Elite 1 with some true effects added. Not the worst head sculpt, but not the best. I feel like it looks a bit weird up here with the hair and stuff, but it's not terrible. You know, I think it's better than the Elite 1, which is saying something, but the beard looks pretty good. You do have your chest down here in the singlet. Black
black singlet all the way down. I don't like the torso they use for Undertaker, but at this point, what am I going to do, Brad? I just think that overall he needs to be bigger. Similar to the Ultimate Edition, but not with that ugliness. They need to tweak it a little bit, but they did give him the bigger muscul muscular shoulders, which I like. Tattoos look good. Double jointed arms look fantastic. I love the size of the arms. I think they did a much better job there. Really completes the look. It actually makes it look like the Undertaker. I think with that skinny arm mold, it just looks ridiculous, to be honest, but this looks good. I'm liking it. I like all the tattoos. Got the black singlet. Actually does have a tight waist. Don't know if the face is pretty, you know, but going down into the graphics, you have like the demon graphic in the red and white. That's how I know it's the Elite Eight. I kind of signify figures, or at least Undertaker figures in the singlet. You can kind of guesstimate them and tell me which ones they are based on the graphic on the side. Like this is the Elite Eight. You know, you have the Elite One with the gray logo, kind of just the way it is, but you do have the same Elite One style, Elite Eight style singlet pants, then the tall black boots. Not a lot going on with it, but you know, it is a Undertaker figure. What do you want? I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's dark. It's black. It's, it's the way it is. It's the darkness and it is the Undertaker and it gets all the jobs done. But there is the re-release figure. Now let's get into some Undertaker Elite figure comparisons. Now for your Undertaker figure comparisons, here is the Elite 8 without his entrance gear and there's the Elite 8 in his entrance gear. And you guys can see the head sculpt's not the same. I think it would have been cool to retool a head sculpt similar to this, but uh, these are the two figures and I don't know, like doesn't he just look better with the musculature? Look how skinny this one looks. It's kind of insane and the graphics are, it looks like the graphics are bigger over here too. So they did update the graphics. Are these legs bigger? I think it's just an illusion. I don't think the legs are bigger. It's just the, the graphic is kind of making it look like it's it's bigger, but the it's all the same tooling, I'm pretty sure. All of it's the same musculature, all the different stuff. But I am glad to have this update because I think this works for a really good singlet Undertaker from this era. So if you guys are wanting a singlet Taker from this era, it totally works. I think you could probably, they really need to redo this head. Like, just think we need a singlet Undertaker that looks better in the head sculpt or they, they need to re-release some sort of Undertaker, get that head sculpt in there. But it is cool to see these up next to each other and I definitely prefer him without the coat. I think I'm going to leave this one out of the coat because I like the way the arms look and the way, yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But that is it for your Undertaker figure comparisons. But anyways, I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one WWE Elite Greatest Hits Rey Mysterio and Undertaker figure reviews. Overall, I am excited for these. I think that it is a very cool idea to do the Greatest Hits and to have these figures re-released and give them some updated things about them. I just think that maybe it could have been updated a little bit more. Like, the Rey Mysterio is pretty much a hand copy, right? It does have the double-jointed arms. It has the interchangeable hands, which is very cool, but I think they could have went a step further in maybe improving the figure. Maybe some new sculpt or something like that to the figures, or I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. It's just kind of ideas I've had. I hate the loose shoulders on the Undertaker, and I, it's not a straight-up re-release of the Elite 8 Undertaker, because I'm pretty sure this is the Elite 1 head sculpt with true effects on the Elite 8 body with double-jointed arms. I do like the improvement on the arms of Undertaker. They're bigger. They look better. I think that they aren't, they don't look as skinny as they do. They still have the skinny torso, you know, that they like to give Kane and Undertaker, but it's not the biggest deal. I, I do like both figures. I think that it is a great modern take on a classic or more classic Undertaker. It's not classic Undertaker, but you know what I mean. It's a throwback Undertaker in an updated form, and I do like it. I do like the figures. I think they're great. If you guys would like to grab them, you can get them at Ringside Collectibles. I think if you miss these guys the first go around and you've been trying to get these in your collection, go for it, man. Don't go for the original. Go for these. If you don't care about being a completionist and having the OG form of certain things, this is the way to go. I like them. I do like them. I'd recommend them. I wish that fisted hands came with Undertaker instead of the mic holding style hands. I think he should have choke slamming hands and fists. That's the only thing. You know, I think that would have been good. We have plenty of other mic holding hands with Undertaker. I'd like to see more fisted hands. But at the end of the day, I like these figures and I think you will too. So if you think they're worth a pickup, go ahead and grab them, man. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout out. And this shout out is going to go to combat underscore club 000. If I am correct, Elite 96 is going to be the last wave of 2022 and the first set of 2023 is Elite 97. But we're going to get side sets from the Elite. Ultimate 15, Royal Rumble, Basics, WrestleMania, Ruthless Aggression, Hollywood, etc. That is true for retail. So Elite 96 will be the last retail wave that we get, but it will not be the last wave that I review on this channel before the end of 2022. If you guys did not know, Ringside Collectibles actually gets their shipments from Mattel or from the factory of Mattel by plane, if I'm not mistaken, instead of by boat, which is what the retailers get. So they ship at the same time, but the retailers get them way later because they go by boat instead of by, by plane. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And so Ringside Collectibles gets them first. So they also pay extra for shipping. So that is why they have a higher price increase because you're paying for the convenience, you're paying for the faster shipping time, and you're paying for all those different things. So that is why, if you're ever wondering why Ringside has their prices marked up, it's because they get them first and they have to they have to make up the difference in business going for that fast pay 
increased shipping method and all those different things. So Elite 96 will be the last wave that you see at your retail store. You won't see Elite 97 until 2023 at retail, but you will see this wave at, Elite, at, at you will see this wave at your local stores before 2023 is what they're trying to say. But at the same time, I know the joke's already going to be before the end of 2022, I won't see this wave ever because my stores never have anything. I can already see that being a joke. But if you guys didn't know how it works, that's how it works. I bet we'll probably get to Elite 98 before the end of 2022 as far as ringside's concerned. I bet the first wave we get in 2023 will probably be Elite 99 if I had to guess. But your guess is as good as mine. But a huge shout out to Combat Club there. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys next time. You cross the line.